Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Probably a four to five day hoard this week. All right, come on in. Hopefully she'll decipher what she really wants to keep because there's a lot of stuff to go through. Yeah. All right, good. So we're on the highway heading to uh, the Horde. Uh, would you know anything about it? Any details? Yeah, so we've got a uh, probably a four to five day Horde this week. Um, individual lives by herself, has for some time now. Uh, she's gonna, she's moving, I think in the spring of next year, so four or five months, um, she's gonna be moving out of state. Um, so now she's gotta figure out, okay, I gotta clean up before she can get movers in. Um, so our job this week is to, we're gonna systematically kind of go through each room with her, uh, each one of her items, uh, and then she's gonna have to choose what she wants and what she doesn't want, and that's gonna make her move a lot more manageable. Uh, there is quite a bit of trash and stuff like that. We're gonna go through and get all that stuff out ourselves. Um, you know, the noticeable trash, cardboard boxes, trash bags, stuff like that. Um, and then, yeah, it's gonna be kind of meticulous. It's gonna take a lot of time. Um, it's a big house, probably five or six rooms in there uh, with two, two, two car garages. Um, so a lot of stuff, uh, but we do have all week to do it. So that's the good thing. All right, come on in. So this is our customer's home. Like I said earlier, she's moving, so she's clearly got to downsize before she moves. Um, so yeah, we'll walk around. This is the living room. Uh, you'll see the, the path that she's kind of created. I don't think this room is really used for anything else anymore other than um, collecting stuff. Uh, looks like a lot of cardboard boxes. Anything that gets mailed here is probably opened and then thrown on the pile. But a nice home, really nice floors. We'll just gotta clean it up and, and get it back to kind of livable. Yeah, she's gonna have to make some decisions. A lot of it she's thinking she wants to keep. And it's, it's happening too fast, so. Yeah. I'm gonna have to slow down with her. Yeah. Once I get cleaned out, really be methodical about what's being taken and taken out because she can't keep all this. All right, so upstairs, there's two rooms up here. So this is the bedroom where she's been sleeping. Um, so this isn't that bad. Um, just some trash in here that we can take care of. Bathroom's not horrible. I guess this would be like a office. Oh my, that's another room. I thought that was a mirror at first. Yeah. Oh my God. It's, it's, their layout is humongous. The house wow. Yeah, it's a not, monstrous house. It doesn't look that big from the outside. This is gonna be the toughest room that we're gonna have to deal with, guys. Yeah, I don't think she's, she's gonna have a lot of personal attachment to all this stuff. When I did the estimate, I said, uh, I asked what percentage of this stuff can we throw away? Or no, I said, what percentage of this stuff can we keep? Do you wanna keep? She says, 100% of it. <laughs> so then I said, what do you want us to do in here if we're keeping 100 percent of this she might have done that she that's what i'm saying this almost looks as if she had a, some kind of a, a business yeah it looks like because it. there's this looks if it wasn't everywhere on the ground this looks like you'd walk into a fabric store right especially like i mean there's hundreds shows. and hundreds of different kinds of colors and it's coordinated in colors patterns and this is pretty amazing okay hey, what what is all this just like clothes hopefully we can donate a lot of those clothes yeah, go get a lot of other things to Goodwill. Yeah, I think what we'll do, one of these, like, uh, probably starting tomorrow, when we move into the house, is we should get the bins out here, shoes, go in, go in the bins, and yeah. then she can go through those. Anything she doesn't want, we can donate. 
Yeah. Because I'm looking at well, like, a lot of this stuff is not even right. probably the right size. It's how many years old? It could be just donated, right. brought over to Goodwill. Right. And if she sees them all in one spot in a she'll box, she'll be able to go through stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then this is the master. Lots of clothes. I'm hoping that we can donate some of this stuff. Yeah, more clothes. And what she wants to do with this is get it stuff out she doesn't want, organized so that way we can pull stuff from in the house and use this as strictly storage. So when she does move, moving truck can just back in here and load it up. Um, so I'm expecting this to still be full when we're done, but hopefully that means that everywhere else is livable and clean. Um, so yeah, that wraps it up. Uh, as far as like the initial kind of walkthrough of everything, seeing everything, there's that other garage out there, but they've already kind of started with that. Um, again, the goal is to get as much of this stuff out, let her see as much of her stuff that she wants to see, and then if she doesn't want it, it gets thrown out. If she does want it, then hopefully we have enough room to organize it and store it for. Um, we'll be here for five days, probably four or five days, and uh, yeah, knock it out. Right on. All right. Right now we're just getting everything organized so that she could go through it and decipher what she wants to keep. Anything that's really mm -hmm. trash, we're just gonna throw it into the dumpster and you know go about the day. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully she'll decipher what she really wants to keep because there's a lot of stuff to go through. Yeah. We're gonna have to work consistently with her and try to open things up give stuff away to, to uh, the Veterans Association or the trash. So what we'll do since we gotta wait for things to go in, we'll keep two guys out here. So as she says, this is a keep, just bring it in there and organize it. Two guys will go inside with trash bags and just remove trash from the house. Obvious so, trash. Obvious gotcha. trash. No personal items coming out, no anything unless it's cardboard box or Garbage. Garbage. Empty containers. Gotcha. Yeah, I kind of I did a walkthrough with her, so I got a good idea of what's going, what's staying, but I'll just do loose trash first, yep. and then when she gets back in, I'll just kind of. And you take one person with you. I'll handle that. Okay. okay. I saw you like putting blue tape like on certain items. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the specific reason for that? So she kind of had a good idea, which is we're gonna start um, a pile for a yard sale. So we're really struggling with room in here, um, in an attempt to free up some room. We're going to put blue tape on every piece of item that she wants to sell at a yard sale. Once all that's done for that garage, we're going to pull it all out, stage it for a yard sale, and she's basically just having a continuing yard sale throughout the week. She's going to put it on Facebook. People can come by, purchase the items from her. Um, it's twofold. She gets some money. We can clear up some rooms so we can better do our job. Um, and it kind of keeps – it's a little bit easier to say, hey, can I sell this instead of just throw it away. So, so yeah, that's the plan. So right now you guys are just picking up obvious trash? Yep, we're gonna pick up obvious trash that's just from food or whatever, etc. And then we're gonna wait for her to come back in and kind of delegate what she wants to keep and what she wants to go. And we'll just kind of keep continuing to make our way to the house and set aside stuff that she wants and doesn't want. Any treasure so far or has there just been like a little... What'd you say? Any treasure so far? Oh, uh, maybe this candle. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't tell you. So how many bags have you guys um, filled up so far? Man, how many? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. At least, at least thirteen. Thirteen, I would think. It seems like everything here is trash. Yeah, it looks like she kind of just is collecting the trash right here. I don't see any trash cans in here, so it looks like she's kind of just designating this as her kind of trash zone. So, get this area cleared out and we'll continue going down and around. So, have you just like kind of just made a path here, like through right. here? Yeah, we're just trying to clear a path so it's comfortable for her to walk through and kind of help us navigate what she wants to keep and what she wants to throw away. Um, 
But yeah, again, we're gonna, we're just throwing away strictly just trash that is obvious trash, and like paper, like newspapers that are torn and tattered, and same thing with magazines that they've been sitting on the bottom, they're ripped, they're the trash. Yeah. Um, we'll try salvaging anything that, any magazines and newspapers that look like they're salvageable, but majority of this stuff looks like it's kind of covered in some type of feces and urine or food debris. So, majority of this stuff is going. How many bags have you filled up you think so far? I've probably done good 15 plus mm -hmm. bags. Yeah. It's gonna continue, okay. keep going. Yeah. So what's the goal right now? Of laying uh, all this stuff up. I'm lining these boxes up so that she can walk through and go through them kind of at a better pace. Pace herself as she goes through them and everything. So she gets an idea of what's getting thrown away and what's getting keeping. Instead of them being piled up. Yeah, it's like an assembly line. <laughs> some progress made, some progress not. Yeah. Making inches in each direction at this point. So. Is the primary focus still this area or are you gonna? Well, the primary yeah. focus is just trying to clear pathways so that we can actually go through all of here. We're trying to get to the garage so that we can start clearing that out. The second and first garage will be used to store the stuff that she wants to keep out of the house. Uh, but we've got to be able to get to that point where we can walk things out. And we're slowly but surely making it to where we actually have walkways. So that's going to help. What's going to be fun is like making a path like to there. Because right now, there's, there's no way to get over there right now. Right. Yeah, it looks like she's got like a little space over there kind of cleared out, dedicated to her garden stuff. But once we get a path through here, it'll be smooth sailing for the most part. Because you got that entire wall of just like right. random stuff. But thankfully, most of this stuff is just empty boxes and just empty like containers for the most part. So it's not heavy stuff and should be pretty quick. I can get through most of this without her, her approval on a lot of things because this is all, for the most part, trash. Right. Let's get to it. <laughs> Looks like I'm not even making a dent. But somehow. Little by little. Yep. Making a lot of headway so far, James. What's that? Making a lot of headway so far. We're trying to move a little bit. Yeah, some of the stuff that's end up being soiled or soaked is, you know, it's not really salvageable. Uh, because after a while, it'll start to decay and clothes will get some moisture on them and it'll just be kind of nasty. Costs more than it would be to replenish them. To clean them. Put this someplace in your side towards here, please. Uh, we're finalizing on day one. Uh, day one we accomplished to clean out the garage, uh, being able to go through her uh, area where she has all of her fabrics and everything like that. We've also cleared out the two, one of the two garages so that we can start putting her furniture and putting the rest of her major items that she wants to keep and that's going to go into the yard sale into the one of two garages. Uh, we're going to use the first garage that's detached for all of uh, furniture and any boxes. We're going to use the second garage that's attached that'll be with all of our personal items, fabric and stuff of that nature. So tomorrow we'll get back into that. All right, sounds good. Uh, for day two, day two we're going to focus on uh, going through more of the clothes as well as the personal items that she has on the first level. Uh, we were able to clean out most of the first and second garage so we can use them as storage places. Uh, so we're going to be uh, systematically moving out things that she's going to keep into those two spaces right now that they've been cleaned out. Uh, 
our crew will be going through here uh, taking stuff out of the home that will be either thrown away or uh, used for uh, giving to uh, we've got uh, the veterans affairs that we're giving some of the clothes away to and we also have a small yard sale that she wants to be able to see if we can accomplish getting some sold as well so what are you guys getting out right now? Uh, I guess everything besides cloth and magazines, as far as I can tell. All right. I'm just going to try to pull this table against the wall and see what I can collect on the table for her to go through or whatever. Yeah? Yeah. I'm trying to get a good little process going on. A lot more room, man. You can sit down right here, push it up, and I'll get it with the dolly. Whoo! She's out, though. There you go. Oh, well. It's a lot more easier to manage now, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just scoop it out. Yes, sir. So what, is, uh, what are you uh, doing in this room exactly? We're just going through some things that we're keeping and donating um, and guard sale stuff, stuff that she might want to take with her on the move. Okay. Um, I'm just seeing what we got in here and sorting and separating and that kind of thing. Is it predominantly just clothes in here? Clothes, uh, jewelry, mostly clothes though. Yeah. Are these donated? Yes, donate. we're for sure donating this, right? Or we're selling. I sell selling. Selling, yeah. selling, donate. And keep. That's what we're doing. I don't think anyone more trunks. I thought there was a pull in this one. There's garbage. Pillowcase. Yeah, it's just one. Yeah. Your name's Devin, right? Yes. Seven. How much? Uh, so how much more do you think you have left to do in this area, Devin? In here. Just like in this living room area. Uh, well, we need to take the stuff that she's keeping and stage it in the garage with this other stuff that she's going to be keeping and move the furniture that she's selling out in the yard and move the furniture that she's keeping also in the garage. And then we'll come back through and just kind of do a last like sweep through, get all this last little bit of trash out, and then we'll move on. All right, so like all this stuff right here, she's going to keep? Like all the yes. stuff on so the walls? so we've got a pile of clothes right here for her. We've got a bunch of books and magazines on the white table. We've got a lot of cloth over there that she still wants. And that's about it. And we'll get down to like the small stuff on the ground. All right, I'll let you do it. Thank you. They can get expensive. Got it? Yeah. I'm going to set this in the garage. Oh. How's it going so far, Liz? We're we're making some progress. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to kick into high gear in just a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got a lot of stuff for donation, so that's that's a good thing. Oh wow! I thought it was in the Never open. I'm not sure about this. This yeah, never open because it's gonna have to come in handy. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. So no cards. Yes. Okay. Thank you. This is all this right here trash, Devin? Yeah, this is all the trash, that, my second round of trash that I've gotten from the living room. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more to come out, but this is what 
we've got so far. I'm trying to get it all thrown out before I head to lunch and it doesn't continue to pile up on me. Does she have these boxes laying around or did you guys? Uh, yeah, she actually has these boxes outside. Um, I'm kind of assuming that the, you know, using the boxes is going to be okay because at this point she's, she's wanting to keep so much stuff that she'll need to use something to transport these regardless when and where that'll be because there's a lot. Um, we have boxes in almost every room. Books, sorry, we have books in almost every room. So we are going to utilize the boxes that she has for that. To make sure we give ourselves a chance of getting ahead. basically figured out like those two containers hold way more trash than normal trash bags yep. yeah i mean this is normally my go-to game plan because okay. this is like five trash bags right here <laughs> and, oh yeah and it's easier to roll around and for sure you, ain't, you literally don't you physically don't have to carry it you yep. can just roll that bad boy to the dumpster work smarter not harder i was really about to say that you too yeah it'll, it'll take it back yeah. Trash right now, what is it? You're going trash right now? Yep. So I'm moving out of the living room where I am at least, and now I'm going to start trying to tackle the dining area and the kitchen. I'm trying to make my way to that dining table and try to get that out in the yard sale. And those keep on moving on. at the bottom of the stairs. Like directly at the bottom? No, like to the right kind of. You could probably, it's empty, you could probably kick it out the way. Okay. I'm off. Oh, you want to shot me anymore? <laughs> Two. Three. Clearing out uh, much of the dining room area. 
Uh, we're going to continue to clean out the kitchen area tomorrow morning. Uh, we have stacked up the items that she was wanting inside of her living room uh, and started moving stuff out into the, the garage area again where we had kept up and cleaned for her. Um, she's going to spend most of the night trying to go through some clothes so that tomorrow we can actually start uh, sifting through with what she does or doesn't want and then give to the veterans uh, uh, as far as donations. So see us again tomorrow and we're uh, going to wrap up for the rest of the day. Yeah, uh, one more thing. Um, yeah. I saw that the yard sale was doing a little well. How, how did that go? Actually, today? we did do pretty well with the yard sale. I think we did uh, like a hundred or so dollars today. I'm not okay. quite sure. I didn't really count, but uh, we did quite a bit. Uh, we've gotten rid of quite a bit of a pieces for her. So, you know, she's at least accomplishing recouping some cash for some of the stuff she can get rid of too. So All that's right. been really good. Right on. Okay. Day three it is. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it guys. On to the next.